A Pine Bluff family laid a seven-year-old murder victim to rest today. Chloe Alexander was shot and killed in Little Rock exactly one week ago today. According to police, she was in the car with someone who had a dispute with 18-year-old Kenjante Daniels. Good evening, and thank you for watching KARK 4 News at 10. I'm Gary Byrne, Jr. Daniels was taken into custody Thursday and charged with capital murder, and our Neil Zareen was invited to Chloe's funeral. Chloe Alexander was only visiting Little Rock to go to the zoo and get her nails done when gun violence took her life. So it was home in Pine Bluff where her family said goodbye one last time. Roses are red, violets are blue. I miss Chloe just like you. The young, burying the young at the funeral of Chloe Alexander. The seven-year-old's casket, pretty and pink, adorned with the TikTok logo for her favorite pastime, dancing on video. Really what broke my heart because now a princess is gone from us. A packed auditorium remembered the girl who always smiled, Geneva Buchanan taught her in kindergarten. No matter who's around her at the table, she got along with them and she talked. She loved to talk. Chloe had talked to her first grade teacher about her summer plans the final week of school, getting her nails done, and trips with family never happened because a gunman took her life. How is it that the bullet finds her? The arrest of suspect 18-year-old Kanjate Daniels was a huge weight off the shoulders of everyone. They preached what happens next is in God's hands, just like little Chloe, who is in God's hands now, too. I shall wear a crown. Many tears were shed, but the ceremony ended in dancing, just like Chloe would have. It was not unusual for me to remind her that students walk, not dance in the halls. That leaves a cherished memory in our hearts. Chloe, a little prince. A remarkable, innocent young girl whose life and death touched so many. There was an increased $25,000 reward that led to the arrest of Chloe's killer. While she's laid to rest, the suspect is locked up for capital murder with no bond. Niels Rang, back to you.